Here we are looking at AMBS. This is a daily chart. Did this one a few days ago, if I remember correctly. Actually, I do remember it was after this day here formed and just talked about uh, what you'd want to see bounce wise and so forth. And so far, so good uh, in terms of the bounce. And we put, might potentially have a reversal here. So what do, what do I mean by so far, so good when it hasn't really necessarily you know skyrocketed or anything like that? Well, for a, a healthier, longer term bounce, you know, you need to get some base building going. And that's exactly what uh, has been happening. If the key thing that really stuck out was the price got up back above this purple line here, which is a 50 day cent moving average. So at that point, the question became, you know, if this is really going to be some sort of strong bounce or maybe even potentially a reversal, can the price stay above this level since it is now back to being a support? And we've had that question answered now. Not only has it held, it didn't even get tested. So this right there, nice sign of strength that the 50 day has now been able to hold as support. And uh, yesterday, you can see the nice green day and another, uh, you know, neutral day today. Uh, but it's setting up very nicely to hopefully up, uh, put in some new high. The other thing is uh, this yellow line here is a 200 day cent moving average. And with today's close, uh, it's the first time in a while that the price has been able to close above this key level uh, of resistance. But really the level of resistance that's sticking out to me, don't get me wrong, the 200 day, that's always an important one to get above, is right here around... Uh, we'll call it uh, the 0.04. Let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm trying to split the difference. I'm looking at the high of this candle here, which is at 0.04. And then you can see you have some highs over here from a couple days in a row, which is at 0.0418. So let's just call it 0.041, which is going to be an important level of resistance. Again, I'm just splitting the difference between this high here and then looking over here, there's a couple highs. So uh, putting it right in the middle there, 0.041 is going to be a, a key area. Uh, that I would keep my eye on and that's going to be important for uh, this chart. If the price can break above here I would not be surprised at all to see it make another nice upwards move uh, but the key is going to be at least if you're a longer term player start to get it uh, you'll want to start to get some closes above this uh, 0.041 area that'll be a key just like you want to continue continual closes above the 50 day down here same thing up here you now just want closes above the 0.041 area support wise pretty straightforward uh, you have the 200 day cent moving average here that you'd ideally like to ideally like to see act as support but at the end of the day the key level of support is going to be down here at 0.025 which is that 50 day simple moving average so if there are any other questions on the chart please let me know if not i'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com if you go there and sign up for the free newsletter you'll be sent a free ebook with your newsletter subscription you'll get chart setups trade ideas educational pieces all sorts of stuff from big boards on to penny stocks so there's a good variety something for everybody it is all free no strings attached we've been making some good money together on our alert so i'd encourage you to go to the website sign up and see what it's all about one more time this was AMBS, thanks for listening.